K Water is a public company specialized in water resources management. We provide various international water education programs for the developing countries to solve water related issues all around the world. Today, we will study about the groundwater condition and management system of Korea. This module will introduce the Korean groundwater management project in general, more detailed information, and a Q&A session will be provided during face-to-face -face training in the future. If we look at the current status of water use in Korea, most of the water resources come from river or dam water. Groundwater accounts for about 3% of the total water use. But a lot of groundwater is used in areas where water supply is not available, in rural areas for crop cultivation. Then, how much groundwater is actually developed and used in Korea? According to the statistics published in 2020, as 1.65 million groundwater wells have been installed across the country, about 2.9 billion cubic meters of groundwater is used annually. In terms of the distribution of groundwater in Korea, groundwater is located 5 to 8 meters below the surface, and average temperature is about 14 degrees Celsius, and its electrical conductivity is 400 to 600 micro siemens per centimeter. Then, how has the groundwater in Korea been managed? Based on the principle of conservation and management, it has been systematically developed and used within a sustainable range. Korea is trying to solve problems in using groundwater and has been actively carrying out relevant policies by enacting the Groundwater Act and the Groundwater Master Plan for Sustainable Development and Utilization. The Ministry of Environment, a current management agency of groundwater in Korea, establishes a master plan for groundwater management every 10 years and supplements it every 5 years if necessary. The master management plan includes the development, utilization, conservation, and management of groundwater. Next, we'll look at the basic groundwater survey. The Basic Groundwater Survey project is carried out to identify the conditions and characteristics of groundwater in the country. It is a two-year project for 129 regions across the nation, which publishes the groundwater maps by conducting on-site surveys such as geological study, geophysical study, water level study, water quality study, and pumping test, etc. The major groundwater maps include the main drawing hydrogeologic map with aquifer distribution and groundwater level and aquifer characteristics, groundwater quality map which analyzes the water quality of groundwater, groundwater flow system that analyzes the direction of groundwater flow, groundwater vulnerability map analyzing the current pollutants and groundwater vulnerability, linear meant map and depth to groundwater map. Korea is also conducting Groundwater Monitoring Network Project to monitor groundwater level and water quality nationwide. The central and local governments now operate four types of monitoring networks for their purposes. The first one is National Groundwater Monitoring Network, which monitors background water level and water quality, run by the central government. The second one is Groundwater Quality Monitoring Network to observe the water quality of groundwater in contaminated areas such as an industrial complex. The third one is Ancillary Monitoring Network operated by local governments. The last one is Agriculture and Seawater Intrusion Monitoring Network for observing groundwater in rural and coastal areas. The Groundwater Monitoring Network consists of a groundwater monitoring well automatic measuring equipment for water level, water temperature, electric conductivity, data logger, and transmission equipment, and data is measured on an hourly basis. In addition, inspection and maintenance teams are making efforts to obtain reliable data with inspection of monitoring equipment, sampling, and groundwater quality analysis.
The data obtained from the monitoring network is disclosed to universities, businesses, and the public through the annual report or website after the final data is analyzed and reviewed. To efficiently use such collected groundwater data, the Integrated Groundwater Information System is available in the National Groundwater Information Center website. The website provides various groundwater data such as GIS map data, statistics, groundwater maps, monitoring data, and well development information. Moreover, there have been continuing education and public relation for groundwater management. We hold an annual groundwater event for the entire nation by providing local government officials, university students, and the general public with opportunities to visit the National Groundwater Information Center, Expo Like Groundwater Korea, on site training on groundwater monitoring networks, and education of groundwater. Now we're going to study the groundwater dam. Groundwater dams are installed across rivers or valleys, formed with good materials such as sand and gravel. Unlike the surface dam, as it is built underground, the cutoff wall is invisible. When the cutoff wall is built, the groundwater level rises. More water can be collected than using normal wells. And they are eco friendlier than surface dams. Around the large rivers, we are conducting a lot of riverbank infiltration projects that install large diameter or horizontal collector wells to collect groundwater. Riverbank infiltration water refers to filtered water that passes through sand gravel layers in areas near rivers and lakes. We're also actively running groundwater energy projects to use groundwater for heating and cooling. The average temperature of groundwater is constant at 12 to 15 degrees centigrade throughout the year, so it can be used for cooling in summer and heating in winter. Meanwhile, groundwater from subways, cable tunnels, and underground spaces of buildings is being used for river maintenance flow, leisure facilities, and road cleaning. However, wrong groundwater well constructions and abandoned wells may contaminate groundwater. In addition, subsidence of ground due to groundwater leakage is also caused by excessive use of groundwater and underground excavation of abandoned mines and large cities. To prevent this, the government is implementing groundwater management measures. So far, we've talked about the groundwater development and management policy in Korea. Come to Korea to discuss in more depth the processes and contents in the lessons. Thank you.